right, here we are for our final round, and uh, we're on the draw once again. Um, this is a little awkward. We have two canopies. Maybe we maybe it doesn't want two canopies, but <laughs> we have them both in our head right now. Uh, we do have, we, like, we can play uh, turn one to coddle and then attack with that as a two power guy and then play turn three knight. I'm going to go ahead and keep it, actually. I mean, this is, we have an Akadal, um, so, you know, how bad can how bad can anything be? Um, you know, not not a, uh, an outstanding hand, but it is a pretty reasonable one. Sea Chrome Coast. Ooh. All right. Well, now we can actually just fetch for a stomping ground. Stomping ground to coddle. Sea Chrome Coast. What is what is the stack? I don't know. I've been playing as a Sea Chrome Coast in so long. Pentad Prism. It's off of Samian. Okay. Well, this is clearly some sort of combo deck that's going to crush us. Because <laughs> we don't even have. I'm guessing that, that our opponent is playing like Ad Nauseum or something. Um, we don't even have like any hate for that. We have Blood Moon, I guess, actually. Oh, we have, we have Stony Silence as well, which is good against Pentad Prism and against uh, Lotus Bloom. I do struggle to imagine winning, winning against this deck, particularly when we don't even have a turn to play. Not exactly giving the biggest of beatdowns here. So if our opponent just, it's like, you know, the ad nauseum conflagrate whatever deck could potentially just kill us here. That's what he's playing. Jeez. It's a lot of pentad prisms. <laughs> um, so I think I just want to. I mean, I could thunder maw. I think I probably thunder maw is probably my best play. Um, Foothill thunder maw attack him. Yeah, it's got to be. If not, if for no other reason, then. Uh, then if he is playing like ad nauseum. You know, potentially his life total is too low. Uh, what, what basic do I have left? I have the basic forest left. All right, so foothills, sack foothills, Get forest, play thunder maw. And get you for eight. All right, so my opponent is dead next turn, but I assume he can probably do something here. <laughs> he has access to five mana. He had access to five mana last turn, too, though. Temple, all right. He can't, he can't Angel's Grace Ad Nauseum because he doesn't have six mana because that land comes to play tapped. He could just Angel's Grace, which is probably what's going to happen here. Maybe I should have played Horizon Canopy a previous turn so I could, I could actually sack both Horizon Canopies and dig for like a Lightning Bolt. We have a path that doesn't really do anything. I'm just going to say go. So yeah, now if he has, ad, he has a second Angel's Grace and Ad Nauseum, we're dead. Frexian on life. Okay. <laughs> so now we can find a a uh, pride mage as well. So we want to uh, 
this. Uh, well, we may be losing now because we, you know, this doesn't, he gets basically a time walk from this. He's at negative 15. <laughs> All right. Now, yeah, now I can add nauseum. And that's what's happening. God, the angel's grace and into, into unlife. This kills us. <laughs> so many cards don't do anything. If we just had a lightning bolt, we would have killed him. You know, if, instead of just one of our dudes, but. We went through both of our both of our canopies and didn't actually find either a bolt or a pride mage. Because I mean, a, a bolt would have killed him too. Because we could bolt him, puts him you know, even after he played the unlife. Because it would have put him in, in negative, and then this infects him for you know a million damage. Is conflagrating me or whatever, lightning storming me. Wait a minute. I assume he has more land. <laughs> Aha. Okay, I'm dead. You got me. Man. He like didn't even play a second land until like turn four and, and still beat me. <laughs> this is one of the uh, okay, one of the, the difficult things to do. But we do have we do have some good cyber cards. We actually do. Uh, Stony Silence is good here. Blood Moon is good here. Um, Grudge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in Grudge because you know some of our cards just don't do anything. We were taking out Path. We're taking out Domri. We're taking out Chandra. think that's it I mean th these things are not particularly good I mean like a Johnny seems bad because he's just going off soup so fast choke or <laughs> feed the clan I mean, combos off oh we'll gain 10 um, Stormbirth dragon you know you could monstrous after he's resolved everything <laughs> but I think we're just gonna go with this so blood moon and then uh, and then the artifact interaction to, to try to stop his uh, his fast mana We will play first. Um, I'm gonna mulligan. This hand, this hand doesn't have any of the cards that basically do anything, so we're looking for. Eh. I don't know if we're gonna mulligan five at this point. I think we may just bolt him and play some goifs, like he's keeping. But I think no, we're gonna we're gonna have to just mulligan and try and find a hand that does something. All right, we're not gonna four. Yeah, we're looking for like blood moon, stony silence, like anything that actually can interact with him. But we're 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 not going to go to four cards to try and do that. I'd rather you know have a hand that can possibly actually play a game and then you know uh, have an opportunity to, to draw those cards. Oh, there's lotus bloom, stony silence. No. All right, we're super dead. Oh yeah, blocks 
it on Smiter. What are you going to do about that, guy? I have a 4-4. Four -four. Am I dead? I think I'm dead next turn. That's when the, uh, the Lotus Bloom comes out, so. Unlife, okay. Sweet, sweet. A Tarmogoyf, just what we need. All these cards that <laughs> just don't do anything. Oh, I need to get another red source. Oops. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to come up because I'm not going to get another turn, but my opponent kept his kept his seven cards, so I have to imagine there's no way that uh, Slaughter Pact. Oh, okay. Oh, well, maybe. Is he just going to Angel's Grace? Angel's Grace the Slaughter Pact and go off? If I somehow randomly get punished because I didn't get my second red source because like his 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 draw is like actually super clunky despite keeping it, I'll feel sad. Actually paying. Jeez. Well, don't I feel foolish now? I'm sure we'll just draw another land anyway. I would draw a knight. All right. Well, it's kind of like a kind of like a land. Let's me thunder my next turn. But obviously it's better to thunder my this turn. It actually might be might be kind of a big deal because I can't put him to, to negatives. Like if I attacked him for eight this turn, then next turn. No, it actually it actually doesn't look like it would end up mattering. Next turn I attack him for you know the same amount of damage. He'd still be, yeah, it still ends up putting him to the, you know, Phyrexian Unlife possible death uh, at the same time. But it's still a mistake, of course. Inquisition. Haha! -ha! You missed! Why do you have Inquisition in your deck? That seems strange. Spellskite. What is going on? You go from like a combo deck to like Inquisition Spellskite? I don't understand at all. Alright, well. Just getting a mountain. Is exactly 14, which would put him to zero for unlife. Though we can chump block with spell skype, I suppose. This is very weird. I put Mulgan to five here, and he's playing like a combo deck that kept seven cards and is somehow not actually, you know, dead or whatever. I'm not dead. Just keep a hand that didn't have ad nauseum and no way to find ad nauseum and just isn't going to draw that ad nauseum. <laughs> All right.
still nothing to actually interact with doing anyway, man. What's happening? What is actually happening? I'm just gonna attack with these two. I'm um, gonna use Knight to draw a card. To you know, hopefully find some sort of interaction. Yep, you have angel. Why do you have angels brace? You have Phyrexian on life. Oh, it actually, ah, uh, tricky, tricky. Gives you an extra turn. But so will the no, they got, yeah, the angels brace won't work later. Or something. Um, well, we're going to tap this for mana. Sack it. Get the canopy. Sack the canopy. Draw something sweet. It's not something sweet at all. <laughs> this is a very strange game. His hand just like full of angels graces. Uh oh. Another unlife. Okay. <laughs> so oh, oh dear. He's just okay, is he actually doing it now? Okay, you win. Congratulations. So ultimately he had a million different sources of protection, so we're dead. All right, so yeah, I mean, the uh, this isn't exactly a deck that it is you know going to generally be good against that against that kind of deck, particularly when you know I don't draw any of the the relevant hate cards. I mean, I do think that uh, uh, if you are able to actually blood moon them or stony silence them, you're actually in a pretty good spot because it's difficult for their deck to operate you know to actually generate enough mana to actually go off without uh, without lotus bloom. And un under blood moon, they have to have multiple sources of artifact mana to get. The colors to cast actually cast both Angel's Grace and Ad Nauseum. Um, so, I mean, we didn't draw them, but it's one of the things about, as I was saying before, about cards like Blood Moon um, that, you know, they're not, you're, I'm not playing it to beat Ad Nauseum, but it's a card that's actually also just very powerful against Ad Nauseum. So, I am pretty, you know, pretty uh, attracted to that as an option as a cyborg card in a deck like this, just because it is such a, you know, potentially game winning threat against so many different decks. Um, but, you know, I think that this deck. That definitely played pretty well. Um, I I don't know that I would I would play. Uh, I don't know that that's something like like Domery is is worth playing in the main deck at least. Maybe Domery is a cyborg card against mid range decks. Maybe it's not worth playing at all. Um, I did feel like you know the match against Burn did not feel good, but uh, it didn't feel horrific. Feed the Clan was you know absolutely game winning in, in that game that we played it. Um, and I think that it's possible that you know if you have some number of Feed the Clans and some number of Lightning Helixes. Uh, that it ends up being potentially even a good matchup because you're able to you know bring in sufficient life gain that also uh, that they aren't able to actually interact with particularly well with Skullcrack. One of the problems with cards like Siege Rhino and the reason that Abzan doesn't necessarily line up well against Burn is that you know Siege Rhino is a forecasting cost sorcery effectively uh, that your opponent you know can plan to hold up Skullcrack for. While cards like Lightning Helix and Feed the Clan, uh, you know, as cheap instants are much easier to actually flexibly use. Uh, it, when you have a window, uh, when your opponent can't actually use Skullcrack like we did in the second match. Um, but anyway, you know, maybe Zoo's not dead. Maybe it's still a contender. Uh, certainly, you know, performed pretty well in those games, and uh, certainly like playing it. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna be tinker with it some more. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.